But now if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, then you've seen all of this drama surrounding King and supposedly cheating on Lena. Now the young lady that he allegedly cheated with stated that they started DMing on Instagram and she provided those DMs. Then she stated it moved to text messages. I will link that video down in the description box so you guys can check it out if you haven't. But Lena did go onto her YouTube page to actually explain how this this girl wasn't being truthful always conversate with our supporters like i follow my supporters i follow i follow my supporter pages he does too he sent me dms of how much she loves my family how beautiful we are how beautiful the kids are she's made like a tiktok collage so now she was explaining there how king initially came in contact with the girl that yes he was following her yes he did dm her but he did not send those text messages now those text messages messages in the DMs were night and day. I mean, the DMs were a bit more friendly, kind of like you would talk to a supporter and the text messages were a little bit more explicit. Now, Lena also spoke on the whole TikTok situation with Neek when Neek was doing a story time and she exposed the fact that King actually cheated on her when she was pregnant. Now, Lena did make some comments after Neek posted that TikTok. People were telling her that she needed to stay out of it and and this was Lena's response. Like anytime anything comes out about Meek or King, it's like, I get attacked. I get attacked. I get tagged. Or anytime that something about Neek and her boyfriend come out, y'all compare me and King to them. And it's like, why do y'all continue to do that? Like me and King are about to be two years. You know what I mean? Like we're happy. Like Meek is happy with her boyfriend. Another thing I want to get from my chest, I wasn't coming at her. I wasn't saying nothing bad. I wasn't bashing her. I wasn't getting involved I was just simply saying like I'm tired of being tagged and stuff or yeah this is what Lena's gonna have to go through and stuff like no. now make sure you head over to Lena's channel and check out that video I will link it down in the description box because she did say a lot more now Neek did post a clip on Instagram of a Drake song with the verse that stated I don't back and forth over no net so just go on and dead it see me when you see me now she also posted these TikToks where people assumed that she was shading this whole situation with King and Lena <laughs> I put this photo up, I put this photo up, and I jump them, cause I don't care, I don't, I don't care, 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 I don't care, 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 care. Let's read some of the comments underneath that TikTok. Someone says, LMAO, I'm weak. He tried it. Like you not allowed to tell stories of your own life. F out of here. Someone else says, Neek, we all know you don't care. And for real, you have all the right to talk about any situation you want, especially if it involves you. Someone else states, no, for real, because King and his other BM reaching. But you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments section below and while we're on this topic of king he did announce that he is going on tour with ma the god the tour is you were wrong about me it's starting in february of next year and y'all they even heading overseas they will be making an appearance in london but anyways you guys let me know what you guys think about that and if you will be in attendance if this concert is coming near the city that you're in but anyways, let's move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool and his new boo, Lexi. So CJ posted a photo on his Instagram and he titled it, all I know is I just found out I like to kiss. So people in the comments started going off on CJ saying things like, bro, she's not the one. Get back with royalty and H naw and bro, what are you doing? Stop forcing her to kiss you. Grow up, CJ. The Shade Room teens reposted this photo and people in the comment section were going off on CJ. Now, CJ actually did like this post, so I'm sure he read most of these messages because because he then went on to his Instagram and posted the results of a post that he posted earlier of Lexi's cooking accent is Lexi the person for him. Now then he stated 18K people voted yes. So she's a keeper. Never listen to your girl when she tell you to switch your nail salon. But mine look cute. Yeah, hers gonna look good, but yours ain't. So, so we back 
and they finna have to redo my hands. Let's see how this go. I'm not paying. I already paid them $500. 533 actually. 